How are you doing today? It's uh, fairly bright. We had a lovely start, a lovely spring start to the week, and then it went uh, really wet and miserable again. And today so far it seems dry. So I'm happy to be with you as always, whatever the weather. And today we're going to be making some lovely little pearl bracelets. So we've got two different sizes of spacer and two different sizes of pearl today. And we've got three colorways. So we've got a lovely kind of ivory white we've got a lovely kind of mink type color and um a light blue as well and they're on different color um wire and findings so we've got a rose gold a gold gold um well like a champagne rather and we've got a silver as well so i'm going to take you over to the website really shortly i'm going to show you what's in your kits today and we're going to get making it's a very simple make there is wire involved but it's basically just used as a bead in thread um, so it's really nice to use um, and really straightforward so let me know in the comments where are you watching from today is everything okay in terms of sound visual what are you watching me on what platform um, I'm not sure whether I've got many on Facebook at the moment but hopefully we should be working on there we have had a few technical issues back end um, but hopefully that is something that we'll be able to resolve and it won't affect your viewing pleasure so good morning to Rachel she says good morning from a bright and sunny barrow the sun is trying to come out again now it seemed quite quite gloomy um, oh Jan says the theme for today's tutorial was scheduled for 20 past two so that that's unusual isn't it it is always 10 o'clock uk time she also says good morning natalie and beden family from an overcast sudbury good morning to star and good morning to sabrina who is in edinburgh va which thank you for joining me um i do think there might be some slight issues because i've usually got a lot more people watching than i have at the moment so rather than get started on the actual make i'll take you over to the website and hopefully in a few minutes any issues will be resolved and anyone who needs to come and find us can do so i'm going to take you over to our website which is where you can get your products from to make this exact bracelet um, you can use things that you might have in your stash, but if you want to make along with us, you can get your kits from totallybeads.co.uk. Um, Sabrina says it's 6am in the US. Oh, wow. Well, very good early morning to you. So here we are on totallybeads.co.uk. We ship worldwide. So if you are watching from the US or anywhere else in the world for that matter, you can still play along with us and you can still watch our video tutorials and purchase your kits if you wish to. You can change your currency just here to whatever suits you. So here we are in our video tutorial section. You can see all the lovely things that we've been making um, over the last month or so. Um, I was doing some lovely gemstone and seed bead tassel rings with you. We've got some wire, some macrame, some bead stringing, um, some a chain mail, all sorts of different techniques. You can see all the recent things just here at the top. But if you're trying to search for something particular, um, they are kind of in a random order. They're not in order here of when we've done them but if you'd like to search by technique or by bead or by date or by kind so you know you want to make a necklace or a bracelet you can search at the bottom here and you can see our um our lovely faces with some of our makes in too so this is kitty that's myself and this is our lovely laura so all of our um, makes if you're looking for chain mail projects laura's your lady if you're looking for some amazing stitch beading projects you're looking at kitty's makes and i do a bit of pretty much everything to be honest um i love my wire um and i like my tiger tail make so you can have a little look in lots of different ways but today i'm doing the sally bracelet with you so i'm going to scroll all the way back up to the top and it is the sally pearl bracelets so you can see here we've got three lovely colors for you we've got the buttermilk the lagoon and the mink and they make four bracelets so they have been reduced they were eight pound 99 they are now seven pounds 50 pence and as i say that makes four bracelets so that's a really really good buy i think four bracelets for seven pound 50 um so i'll show you what is in each kit so you can see exactly what components i'm using so you can um get this one for example is your buttermilk so it's a beautiful kind of um 
creamy white colour and we've got those on the champagne findings so I'm going to be using two sizes of the glass pearl beads the four and the six millimetre round so you can see here we've got slightly larger and smaller ones I'm also using two sizes of the spacer beads um, so I've got the three millimetre and the four millimetre they are uh, the metal spacer beads I think in this one um, I'm using copper wire but it is coloured um, and it's got a, a lovely colour coating on it which means it's colour remain now you don't see much of the wire at all um, a tiny little bit maybe around the wrap loop at the back of the clasp but you don't see the wire necessarily in this make but your findings match that wire anyway so your lobster clasp and your jump rings today are the only findings that you need everything is going to be in your kit enough to make four bracelets if you want to see exactly what the components are you can scroll down you can see we're using the 0.4 millimeter champagne wire the buttermilk four and six millimeter glass pearl rounds and we're using the champagne gold spacer beads in three and four as well so you might hear when I'm making it I might refer to a small one which will be the three millimeter spacer and the large one isn't large at all but it's a four millimeter um, and the pearls are four and six so that is what is in your gorgeous buttermilk kit we also have the Lagoon, which is what I'm going to be demoing with for you today, just because I have my findings to hand in the silver. So again, we've got all exactly the same components. They're just in a different colour. So your glass pearls are your four and six millimetre rounds. Your spacer beads are your three and your four millimetre rounds. <coughs> Excuse me, voice disappeared then. Copper wire is four millimetre and it's in the silver and we've got the jump rings and the lobster clasp again you can scroll down and have a little look um but it is what it is it's called lagoon because they are the beautiful lagoon blue so it's a really gorgeous 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 color blue um i will be showing you them on the mat as well so you can see how they look like in um well not in person because you're still through a screen but you get to see them on my mat rather than on the website too so that one is your Lagoon for £7.50 to make four bracelets. And lastly, we've got this gorgeous mink. Now the mink is kind of like a, a blush, kind of um, pinky brown colour, I think is the best way to describe it. And I'm using that on um, the rose gold colours of your space beads and your findings and wire as well and you can have a little scroll down there and you can see how gorgeous those colours look together really really pretty I think this might be my favourite but again it's I suppose it depends what you're wearing and what you like so we've got a kind of pinky brown blush colour gorgeous buttermilk ivory kind of white and a lovely light blue lagoon as well for you today so seven pound fifty making up four lovely bracelets i'm going to get back where i need to be check that um we've got a few more viewers and things seem to be a little bit better and we can have a little chat and then i'll start making it isn't a long make today um, i'm going to use my macrame board i think you don't need a macrame board at all i think i'm just um going to use it just so i've got um something really to just slide my beads up and hopefully you'll be able to see it a little bit better in camera because when i'm using long wire it often flails around a little bit and you can't always see with the position of my camera um so who have i said good morning to and who do i need to hello to francis who's in a wet and windy perth good morning to Teresa. good morning lisa um jan's already put her order on so thank you so much celia says she can't find me on facebook um, I don't know what the issue is. If I have a little look at my channels, it says we are on uh, streaming on Totally Beads on YouTube, streaming on Natalie Pattern uh, Jewelry on YouTube. It is unable to connect on uh, Facebook, and I don't know why. I wonder if I toggle it off and on. Hmm. It's a little bit odd isn't it it's not on the totally handmade group either i don't know what's going on today i am on youtube so you can come and find us um if you you can find us on totally beads or natalie pattern jewelry making don't really know what's going on there but that's not great 
so I apologize. I'm trying my best to kind of um, fix it, but it's not doing anything. So please bear with me. Let me just have a little, don't know why it's unable to connect. I say we've had a few issues today with, um, with emails and, and whatnot. So I don't know what's going on. Um, hmm. I've done what I can. I'm going to try and save it and hopefully you're still there and it's it's okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining me and coming to find me. You've had to hunt me down. I apologise for that. Good morning to Tracy. Hello to Camille. Good morning to Sharon. Hello to Alison. Uh, okay, so Facebook showing that it's going to be on later at like 20 past two. Um, I could try and do another one then a bit later on, um, as long as I'm done before school pick up. Good morning to Yolanda. Um, she is saying it's snowing again. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. She's in Michigan. Good morning to Trish. She's in a very chilly island. Hello to Anastasia. I know me and I don't know what's going on with Facebook. Everybody who's watching me at the moment is on YouTube. Uh, good morning to Angela. Hello to Debbie, um, who's just found me. Good morning to Sabrina. Hello to Camille. Uh, Sharon's in from the East Midlands. And um, Kelly, hello to Kelly. She says this is the first time I've ever caught a live. Can everyone give Kelly a wave and say hello and welcome? Welcome. Um, I don't know why the time on Facebook is saying 25 past two. I've not scheduled it. I don't really know if I can change that. Shall we see if I can change it? I do apologise. Kelly, we're not usually this disorganised, my love. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, what if I can amend this? I can see it's saying 25 past two, but it's not letting me amend it and i think i'd have to come out and i don't really want to come out completely still want to stay live otherwise people who are with us might not be able to find us again i can't change that time it's not letting me can i change you hmm oh tempted to go out and come back in not gonna let me and here comes next doors banging about as well i do apologize right can i edit this while i'm still on how bizarre no it's got a cross through it telling me i can't change it uh oh i don't know um we'll just have to share it i think later <clears throat> sorry <laughs> um okay well everyone's welcoming kelly which is lovely right i'm gonna go just go down on the map and we're just gonna gonna make do with what we've got i don't know what's happened there thank you so much mina mina's been sorting me out all morning telling me i need to get this and we need to do this and um she's posted us on the facebook group to to let us know so um kelly says i don't i know i usually catch your replays but the internet will be the internet and i hope you get it sorted thank you um carol we've put a post on facebook to say we're on youtube with the link on it so hopefully people who usually watch us facebook way will be able to find us some way or the other so these are our gorgeous bracelets this is the mink And they're really comfortable to wear. I love a wire bracelet because they've got a little bit of kind of malleability, if that is the word. They are malleable. You can move them. You can kind of shape them to your wrist. And they fit really, really comfortably. Um, this is the buttermilk on the champagne. We've got a little bit of lag as well. Lovely. I don't want to jinx us, but if there's anything that can go wrong, it's going to happen today, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much for being patient with me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, they are a really lovely bracelet to make, and they really are an easy make, so they should be worth the wait. And this is our beautiful Lagoon Blue. Look at the colours. So I've only got three colours for you today. Um, 
you could use a different colour pearl if you wanted to. Um, but I would suggest you get these kits because you're making four bracelets up. It's an amazing price. If you wanted to multi-layer them as well, they'd look really lovely if you were doing, you know, numerous ones of the same colour. Oh, thank you, Kelly. She says beautiful bracelets. And Pauline says they look lovely. So to start, I'm using the 0.4 millimetre wire. I'll show it up to the camera just in case there's anybody who's got um a I'm struggling to even get, you know, subtitles on as well. So I really do apologise. If you do have a hearing impairment, I'm going to keep trying to show you measurements of things so you can um, you can still follow along until I can get that sorted as well. Good morning, Tina. How are you doing? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about 60 centimetres of my wire. And I'm just going to find the ends of the wire. Now, the 0.4 is a really lovely size to use because it is strong, um, but it's also very fine. So I'm just going to get the ends kind of together. And what that's going to do is if I bring those ends together, that's going to help me find the middle part here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little jump ring on and I'm going to pin it to um, a little macrame board, I think, just to kind of give myself something to slide up. And it might might be a little bit easier to follow, but you don't need a macrame board for this. It's just to kind of show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to get my jump ring out. It's a six millimeter jump ring. And I'm also going to get my lobster clasp out and I'm going to attach that first. Um Oh, thank you, Anastasia. That's really kind of you. So I'm going to take my uh, two pairs of pliers. Any pliers will do. I'm just using chain nose. Let's please not start blaring as well. And I'm just going to slightly open up my jump ring by giving it a little twist towards me or away from me. I'm going to slide on that lobster clasp and then I'm going to close it over so those ends are neat and flush. And then going to slide my um, jump ring with my clasp on into the middle of that wire where I've put that little bend on. Now, let's see if I can just pin it here. So I'm just going to pop a little drawing pin into my macrame board just to hold that on together. Now, it's not looking quite straight, is it? Is that a little better? Okay, so I've just pinned that on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three millimeter small spacer. I'm just going to pour a couple of these spacers out. So I've got two sizes of my spacer. I'm just going to take the small one. And all I'm going to do, if I just open this out here for you, you can work along with me. So this is what I'm going to make. I'm going to make this part of the clasp. And Tina says, I see the live and red button on my phone. Then that would mean you have subscribed, which is lovely. Um, so I'm just going to add the spacer bead on and I'm going to put it onto both ends of the wire. In fact, I'm going to pop that into the clasp instead so you can see and I'm just going to pop that one spacer bead over both ends of the wire and I'm going to push that spacer bead up so it's fairly close and making a little loop so it's just coming up and sitting underneath that little jump ring and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three of the small spacers, the three millimetre spacers, and I'm going to add that onto each side of the wire. So I can now split my wires out and use them individually. So I'm going to add three onto one side. So I'm just taking the end of one wire and I'm sliding them through. And they will sit up close. And what's good, I suppose, about using the macrame board is I can just slot my wires when I'm not using them back into the board. So it's going to stop it kind of flailing around a little bit. And then I put in three onto the other side. And these will all push up together soon. And then I'm going to add another small spacer bead. You can use a large one here if you want to, but I'm going to take one extra of the um, 
smaller sized spacer bead and I'm going to put it on one end of the wire and then taking the other side so in this case I've popped the spacer onto the left I'm going to bring it back through with the right and I'm just going to draw them together now I want to keep the wires um, fairly straight don't want them tangled and I don't want to pull too hard on them but I'm going to just get that position so everything's sitting right and I've created a little loop like so with that spacer in the middle. And again, as I say, you can shape this wire. So if you want to make that more of kind of a curve, you can do. And then I'm going to add two small spacers onto each side again. So I've just brought that back through the middle. I'm going to add on two spacers onto one side. I'm going to add two on the other side and these are the smaller sized ones like so and I can push this up by just making sure my wires are kind of nice and taut and flush so if there's a little bit of a gap I'm just going to pull very gently on those to push it into shape and then I'm going to get one of my larger spacer beads out and I'm going to do exactly the same. So I'm going to go through one side. So taking the left and it's going to go through the hole in the larger spacer. And then I'm going to take the side, which in this case will be the right side. It doesn't matter which way you work through first. But I'm bringing that wire in the opposite direction here. And again, I'm going to give it a little gentle pull. And that's just going to make that second little loop. And now I can start adding on my pearl. So I've got two sizes of my pearl. I'm going to take some large ones and some small ones. And I'm just working in groups of um, two with them, essentially. So let me just take some of these off my strand. I say you <clears throat> don't need the macrame board with this but it is an option if you feel you've got some flailing wires so onto one side onto the left i'm going to pop the larger um pearl which is six millimeter and then the smaller pearl and i'm going to push them up and exactly the same on the other side so onto the right hand side i'm going to add my large and my smaller bit pearl. So they're going to go on like this. And then I'm going to take the larger spacer and I'm just going to bring them together again. So through onto one wire, taking the opposite end of the wire and bringing it back through the middle of the same bead and gently pull and that's going to make my first little loop like so again you can check that you're happy that all those kind of beads are um like taut and shaped because we've got that wire you've got that kind of um maneuverability with it so once i've done my first little cluster i'm going to take my small spacer beads and again i'm going to add two onto one side and slide them up Camille says smile you are on Nat's camera what's going on <laughs> and then I've got two on the other side as well so I'm still using the small ones and I'm going to make a little kind of looped cluster with just the spaces and then going back through the large one to join it together. So I'm taking the larger spacer bead, sliding that on. Every now and again, I just run that wire uh, through my fingers just to straighten out any kinks. Back through the other side and just a gentle pull to create that next loop. 
So I'm just going to keep continuing that pattern. First of all, with the pearls, using a large one and a small one on each side. And bringing that back through the middle using the slightly larger space bead, which is, was it my four mil for the larger one? I always tend to work off one side, so I, I prefer to add things onto the left first and then bring my right through, but it really, really doesn't matter which way you do it. Once I've made that little beaded cluster with my pearls I'm going to do exactly the same but with the spaces so I'm adding on two of the three millimeter spaces onto one wire so onto my left side same again onto the right side and then bringing that back together through the large one. Now I've done, um, I think, eight of the pearl bead clusters in this bracelet. And if I measure the bracelets out for you, that means, in fact, I'll just move that over here so you can see. If I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pearl clusters, that's going to give me an eight inch bracelet when I've popped my um, findings on. So that's coming out at eight inches and you've got enough in your kit to make four of those bracelets. So you can adjust the size of these really, really easily. If you want to make it longer, you're just adding in more of those pearl clusters. And if you want to make it smaller, you're just adding in less. Um, Tina says she's loving the names of the colours, Mink, Lagoon and Buttermilk it was, wasn't it? Um, I don't name the colours of the beads. Um, I, I should imagine they are done either at the factory um, where they are made or then the warehouse can name them as well. Um, and it's really just because if... I mean, the wonderful thing about Totally Beads is they have so many glass pearls. And I like using glass pearls because you get the same effect as, you know, uh, a kind of natural pearl, you know, like a freshwater pearl or whatever. But you have um, an abundance of sizes and colour and you also have the perfect round. They do come in various different shapes, um, but with Totally Beads, they've got just so many different colours of the pearl um, but obviously it's not just colours it's also tone so if you were to search um, blue coloured pearls like these you would get so many different uh, shades of that so you'd have um, space blue, royal blue, uh, kind of hematite coloured ones, you'd have sky blue there's just there's so many so it what happens is I go to the warehouse, I put the kits together, I come home and I make my samples and then I will um, message the warehouse and I will say I will need, in this case, um, so many of these, so many of them and I will write on the name of the shade of the colour that I'm using. So it just helps us know what it is that you're getting. So again, all I'm doing is alternating um, until I get the size of the bracelet that I want. I'm just popping on those little spaces and then bringing it back through the large. So when it gets to the main cluster of my, the main body of my bracelet, each time I bring it through, whether I'm bringing it through with the pearl section or the space of the little uh, looped sections, I'm always bringing it through that slightly um, larger spacer bead. And I think it just gives it a lovely kind of, kind of pattern and texture really. Um, you could use all the same size beads, you could use the same size pearls, and you can use all the same size spaces if you want, but I do, I do like this design. I think it looks nice. Hello to Birgit. She says, hello. Sorry, I'm late. Um, she loves what she sees. Thank you so much. Good morning to 
Pex, oh, let me get this right, Pexis Beck, who's watching in Portugal. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, Teresa says, think you could make an earring with this design to go with it. Um, yeah, you absolutely could. Um, I would, um, instead of attaching it to my lobster clasp, I would just put my little loop. So I would start probably with this bring that round we might do one of them at the end if we've got a little bit of time um i think that's a really lovely idea uh teresa i think it really would go lovely um so all i'm doing is just repeating that pattern really easily i put the large on first and then the small on the pearls i want to keep that pattern so i don't really necessarily want to swap over to put the small one on first um obviously if you're looking at it this way around your smalls are on first but in terms of the pattern here, I'm just working my way down. I'm going to add on my larger spacer. And I suppose it's not really a right angle weave, but it is just bringing that wire back through. Now I've done my pearl section. I'm just going to add on my spacers. So as I say, it's really easy to be able to um, change the size and adapt the size of this. You could, if you wished, put on a little extension chain onto the bracelet as well. So if you were selling this or you were gifting it to someone and you didn't know what size they were after, you could make a lot of them, um, make them one standard size. You could make them a little bit smaller than you think is, is needed. Um, and then all you need to do is just pop on a little bit of chain um, as long as that chain is large enough um, for the lobster clasp to go through it, then you can you could just extend it that way. The lobster clasp we're using today is 12 millimetres in size. Um, again, any would do. Um, any clasp, if you had a preference and you wanted to use something else, you definitely could do. Um, a toggle would work okay because it's thin enough to get through um, the the loop in the toggle. Um, a magnetic one possibly would work as well, but do bear in mind these are metal spacers. Um, if you're using the acrylic spacers, then they wouldn't have that kind of magnetic um, effect, but these ones are lovely little metal spacers, so they might slightly stick to your clasp. Um, your wire, Probably won't because there's not much of it that's exposed. Hello, Janice. I'm so sorry, she says. Um, I thought it was afternoon. We don't know what's gone on with the timing at the moment. Um, if you've been trying to find us on Facebook, it's not come up because for some reason it's been set as an event at two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and I might pop back on then later. <laughs> um but yeah, we we uh, we are here all the time at 10 a.m. UK time. Um, good morning to Margaret as well, who's watching from Mobile, Alabama, USA. Uh, so if you're just joining us, thank you so much for being with me. I am Natalie. This is Totally Beads, and I am making a Sally bracelet. Um, just using two sizes of pearl, two sizes of spacer bead, and um, some 0.4 millimeter wire. So I'm just going to, how many have I got here? One, two, three, four, five. I'll do a couple more. You can see it's a really quick make. It comes together exceptionally quickly. I'm obviously not doing it too quick because I'm chatting away to you. Um, but you'll be able to make, I think, one of these bracelets in about 10 minutes. Maybe 15 it's hard to say how long something takes because everybody's different. We all have, um, you know, I could probably do something really, really quick and then I could do a stitch project and it might take me twice as long as the usual person. <laughs> so just go at your own pace. You don't need to use any kind of force on the wire. And this is why I like doing a simple bracelet in a similar design to this because, you know, there's, it is wire make, but I'm not using any kind of wire wrapping. It's not harsh on my fingers. I'm literally just sliding that wire 
through the hole in the bead which is a lovely sized hole for this wire and then bringing it back through so i'm taking one end of the wire slide it onto one side hold it there can you see a little better and then i'm taking the other side of the wire and i'm bringing it back in the opposite direction through the same hole in the bead like so and then a gentle pull just to create that loop and the beads will make that shape for you you know i've not got to be kind of really positioning my wire in any particular way it will do it all for me just by framing um the shape of those beads move myself up a little bit more so once i've done my pearl section i'm adding on two of the small three millimeter spaces onto one side i'm then adding on two onto the other side i've got lots of you here now watching so thank you so much um you're all watching me on youtube we are live on totally beads um, and I'm also live on uh, Natalie Pattern Jewellery. Um, so you can always find us on various different channels. We're usually on Facebook too. And you can always watch us via the website. So if you head over to the website, then this tutorial will stay with the kit. So you can always watch back um, whenever you need to. So I'm going to do another cluster of my flowers, uh, my kind of well I suppose they are quite floral shaped but with my pearls one two three four five six I've done enough to do eight uh, so maybe you'll probably have some left over in your kit as well this makes four bracelets and if you wanted to you could mix up the colours so if you wanted, you could do a different colour of each pearl. I'm going to move down a little bit so you can see. So the large pearl on first, followed by the small one. And bringing that through with the large spacer bead. I do think I'd quite like to make um, a little bit of an e-ring now. I think it was Teresa who gave us that lovely idea. Um, Tina says, because we love you teaching ways. Oh, Tina, thank you so much. Um, I always try and explain it. So even if you're really experienced or you're brand new, that you can kind of follow along. Oh, Tina, that's lovely. Oh, I'm going to share that because that's really nice. I've done more of your projects than any other person I watch. Tina, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I think it's, I, I'm new to jewellery making too. I mean, I've been doing it now. Well, I started in lockdown. I started kind of dabbling with wire work particularly, probably maybe uh, three, nearly four years ago. Um, so it, it's, it's new to me. And, you know, I put together projects so frequently i said this to nina this morning i'm doing that many i kind of forget what i'm doing when i'm doing it so today for example I've, i'm kind of learning along with you again like thinking what am i doing now uh, what am i doing this morning um so maybe that's why um i i try and break it down because i'm learning as i go along <laughs> i'm trying to think what when i put this together a few weeks ago what what did i do um okay so i've got one two three four five six seven clusters i think personally for me if i'm gonna keep this bracelet as my bracelet it's probably um that's probably the right size for me so when you've finished your um your cluster all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start as i've a finish um if that makes sense so what i mean by that if i bring this down so my first cluster that i started with i added the small pearl to come back up you can add the large pearl if you want to but if i'm finishing the bracelet off 
So in fact, let me add one more on. I'll do it as I should do. I'll do it the same as the samples. And then I'll show you how I've changed that up slightly. I just want the same size um, spacer bead at the start as I do at the beginning. I mean, it really doesn't matter too much. But if you're using two sizes, you want that continuity. So I'm going to come through my last flower um, pearl kind of. I keep saying flower. They don't really look like flowers. They're supposed to look like little butterflies with those two sizes. And I'm going to bring it back through my pearl cluster with that larger spacer. So that would be here. And I'm just going to work back up now. So I'm going to put two small spacer beads onto the left. I'm going to put two small three millimeter spacer beads onto the right. And this time I'm going to draw it together through the small one instead of the large. So still taking it on one side of the wire, bring in the other wire through and then drawing that together like so. Then I'm going to add three small spacers, so the three millimeter spacers onto each side. Oh, Berger, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, I think I am going to do uh, an earring if I get time. Uh, Yolanda's asking, do you know if the large board is in stock now? It should be, Yolanda. Um, you don't need a macrame board with this at all. The only reason I've got it on the macrame board is just so I can um, keep it in place while I'm working to show you. But I'm going to take it off now anyway. But you don't need it. It isn't a macrame make. But you do have some wire macrame makes coming up fairly soon. So if you would like to get one, uh, keep an eye on the um, the website because we should have them in stock. Um, or if we haven't, we'll be getting them in soon. So I've now put three spaces onto each one at the end here. And then I'm going to use another small spacer, which is the three millimeter but I'm going to put it onto both ends of the wire, like so, and then position it down. Now I'm going to unpick this off my board. Pop that down on the floor. So you can see I have my bracelet so far. And all I need to do now is make a little wrapped loop. So you can use a bail step plier or you can use uh, your round nose pliers. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to position uh, these wires. I'm going to use them as one. So I'm going to take my round nose plier. I'm going to think about the size of the loop I want. But this time at the moment, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bend them over. So you can see I'm holding the um, wire in between those um, points on my plier. And the space now that I've created by bringing that over is going to be where I'm going to wrap. So I'm now going to reposition my round nose pliers. I'm holding this very awkwardly, just hopefully so you can see. But this isn't the way I'd usually position my hands. So now I've got the jaws of my round nose pliers sitting above and below. And I'm going to bring them over as one. Again, just slightly reposition my hand so I can create that little loop. So if I take it out, it looks like that. So I'm gonna put my pliers back in and I'm gonna swap over to my less dominant hand. So in my case, it's my left. Um, the camera is quite close, so I apologize. It's a little out of focus, there you go. Now, what I can do is because this wire is lovely, I can use my fingers or I can use my tools. Um, just to bring it round. So I'm going to do half wraps with this. Can I hold it that way? Well, that, there you go. So I'm just going to bring it round one side. 
and then back around the back. And I'm just going to create a little wrapped loop to sit in between the loop and my last bead. Um, so if you want to do it with your fingers, you can do because I say it's only a 0.4 wire. If I want to use my tools, I'm just bringing that wire over. So I've got my chain nose there and I'm just wrapping the space in between just a couple of times. Now I'm going to come in with my cutters and I'm going to trim off that excess wire really closely. And then these two little bits here that are sticking up, I'm going to tuck down into the bracelet. What I often do is I pop my round nose pliers in, again, just to give myself some purchase. And then with a pair of pliers, I'm just going to tuck those little ends in to make sure there's nothing scratching um, or catching on clothes. What I will say is be careful and cautious when you are tucking them down, that you're tucking the wire down and you're not putting any pressure on that last space of bead because I could crack that quite easily, even though it's metal, if I was to put enough pressure onto that last bead. So I've now got my bracelet loop on that side and all I need to do is take out my other jump ring, which again, I'm using an outer diameter um, six millimeter jump ring here and the thickness of it is one millimeter so they're really really sturdy i'm going to give it a little twist not much just enough to open that up slightly i can then slide that through the loop and then close it over now that's made a lovely clicking sound and what that means is my two parts of my jump ring are pressed up against each other really nicely and it's not gonna fall off. If it doesn't close properly, what I want to do is just take it slightly past the point that those two ends meet and it should spring back perfectly closed. You want your jump ring closed because you've only got a thin bit of wire there, it could come loose. And then all I'm gonna do is just attach one end to the other and that is my eight inch ready to wear lovely little bracelet um, all i would say is while you're making this be gentle while you're pulling on those wires to create those loops but if you pull nice and taut enough um, you're not really at risk of snapping the wire um, but you're going to create a nice kind of evenness between your pearl little clusters and the spacer clusters um, and although it's made with just a little piece, one length of wire, I was 60 centimetres of wire for this. Um, because I'm using those metal spaces in the middle, it gives it kind of like more of a metal smith, I suppose, look. It's really, really straightforward to do. And they're really pretty, I think, and really comfortable to wear. Um, you know, it will retain that shape so you can, you can fit that nicely to your wrist. Um, it is wire, so if I wanted to, you know, you can see I can bend that and then just gently straighten it out again. So a really nice quick make today. You've got uh, three choices of your Sally bracelet. We've got Buttermilk Lagoon or mil Mink. So this is the Lagoon that I've just demoed with. This is your Buttermilk bracelet. And where have I put the lagoon? There. Uh, not lagoon. Mink, sorry. <laughs> so they are in your um, silver, your champagne, and your rose gold. And they are £7.50. And that makes up four bracelets. Um, as we've got 10 minutes, I'm going to have a little bit of a play. And I'm going to make an earring. Though I don't know if I've got any ear wires to hand. Um, I'm just going to take, uh, I don't need much wire, but I'm going to still use the 0 0.4. Obviously, you're probably going to have a little bit left over in your kit. Um, so you might have enough if you've got ear wires that you might want to make some earrings too. So I'm going to trim off some wire. Thank you, Mina. She has beautiful bracelets. Uh, Jan says very satisfying um, and uh, she also says it's beautiful. I don't know how much wire I've got though. Would you like me to measure it for you and then we'll see if we need more or less. 
Um, what I would say is it really doesn't matter because if you're using the same amount of um, pearls and spacers, they're going to be the same size in terms of your your earring. So that's about 10 inches, which works out in centimetres to be about 25 centimetres. I'm going to start, I think, with the slightly larger spacer and I'm going to pop that onto the middle. So again, I can bring those ends up and that will help me find the middle of my wire. I'm going to put two small spacers on. I don't know, should I do the should I do the bottom bee and the pearls? Okay, I'll do the bottom bee and the pearls then. So I'm going to use a larger pearl. So you can see here you don't need the macrame board. Uh, it this works exactly the same in terms of you know making those bracelets. I just I did today and I don't know why. I just thought it might be be easier to show you. Because sometimes when my wire is really long, it does flail about a little bit under the camera. So then I'm going to put my two um, pearls on, large then small. And then I'm going to go back through another of my large spacer beads. I keep calling them large. I think they're like four millimetres. They're, they're the larger of the two, but they're really not large. Bringing that back through. And then I'm going to pull gradually on each side. So I'm still staying fairly in the middle. I'm then going to get some of the small spaces out. I'm going to pop two onto one side. Two onto the other side. And I think that's probably the size that I want. You could keep going if you wanted to make, you know, continuous loops. Just going to pull them down. When I pull this next one through, that will tighten that loop up at the bottom. So do I go through the large one rather than the smallest time? So back onto one side and onto the other. And again, giving that a little pull. So I'm pulling that bottom one down. If I need to, I can just pop my finger on it. So if I wanted, I could add another cluster. Or I could leave it that size. I think I quite like them just like that, to be honest. Um, I'm then going to add... A few more spaces onto one side, so I'm going with the smaller ones. These are my three millimeter. I'm going to add another three onto the other side. As I say, if you're making your next earring, providing you're putting the same amount of beads on, you're going to have nice symmetrical earrings. And then you're going to bring both of those ends up together. So I sometimes just give it a little pinch to draw it in. Um, I will do, I'm going to do a large spacer, I think, this time. And I'm going to bring that over both ends of the wire. Check I'm happy with my positioning. Sometimes I might just move it a little bit with my nail. So I'm happy I've got the size that I want. Might have been nice with a little pearl in that one to bring them together as well. And then I'm just going to do that wrapped loop. So I'm going to bring both ends together over the end of my um, round nose pliers. I'm going to reposition so the jaws of the pliers are above and below. And get my fingers in the way just to bring that round. Reposition my pliers so I can get those in so it's like a little kind of scarf and then wrapping round with my fingers or my tools and I'm just going to wrap that space so I'm bringing those wires I'm keeping them together 
you can see they're not really crossing over I'm just bringing them around the top and around the bottom nice and close together maybe around three times whatever it is just to fill the gap between the loop and the bead if i need to neaten it up a little bit if i do get it a little bit um you know wobbly then i can just give it a little tweak with that coming in with my cutters and then again i'm gonna tuck those down i'm gonna make sure i don't catch that top bead and then all i would need to do is get myself a little ear wire and i could attach that on do i have an ear wire to hand you know i do but it's gold bear with me obviously you would probably use the same color but just to show you for a fact, taking my ear wire, giving it a little flip up. So I've got that opening and I'm going to slide it on. You can make your own ear wires as well. I've done a tutorial on that once upon a time and then slide it back on. And there you go. I've got <laughs> what I would say is when you uh, do pop your ear wire on, make sure you close it properly. Because again, you've only got that thin bit of wire, so you don't want it to just do what it's done and come out. So make sure that's fully closed over. And now you've got earrings, if you wish, to match your lovely bracelet. So it should make um, a nice, nice little set. Uh, Teresa says, looks great short or long. I mean, you know, you could, you could do multiple um, sections. If we pretend that that's... You know my ear wire you could you could make them long you could do whatever you wanted you could continue this and make it really really long and you could wear it as a choker as well if you wanted i would suggest to pop a little bit of an extension clasp on if you are using it as a choker because um you know people will say what's the average wrist size and what's the average ring size and i don't think there is an average size everybody is different but it's difficult to get the circumference of a neck um which is comfortable um so if you were to make it as a choker i mean you could also just make it as a section of a necklace you've got that wire there don't forget so you can shape things so if you wanted you could attach that onto a chain and you could have um, a necklace you could have a bracelet and you could have a pair of earrings you're making four bracelets in this kit for an amazing seven pounds and fifty pence so again lots of options there for you um I'll always say I'm making a bracelet and then you watch me and I'll end up making a necklace and a pair of earrings. I'm doing that in a couple of weeks. I've made a necklace and then decided actually I'm going to make a bracelet and I've asked Simon nicely to include an extra element in your kit because I'm thinking you're going to have that many beads left and they're really lovely beads. Then you might as well utilize them and do whatever it is you want so although you can search on our um, website for tutorials by kind and by technique um you can always adapt that technique or that type of jewelry into something else so um you can make your earrings you can make your bracelet using maybe a necklace technique um you can think outside the box a little bit um Kelly says, mixed metals is all the rage, as I'm sure you know. I love mixed metals. I don't know. Mm, if I was doing these as mixed metals, what I would have done is I'd have put um, the same colour ear wire I would have used on that very first um, bead. So I would have used the same coloured spacer to just tie them in a little bit. But I love mixed metal jewellery. I really, really do. It's very on trend. Um, Camille says, lovely set. Thanks, Natalie. Have a lovely weekend. Jan says, thank you. Another beautiful make. Joanne says, oh dear, I've only just found you. I'll have to rewatch. We are doing the Sally Pearl bracelet today, Joanne. And we've had a lot of issues with... Um, various different tech so i apologize it seems like only youtube is working i'm hoping i'm not live later 
um, <laughs> without me knowing. Otherwise, you might see me sitting here making things. <laughs> and I'll be like, ah, hello. Um, Margaret says, beautiful. I'm definitely making the bracelet for Nisa's something blue for a wedding. Oh, Margaret, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, if you can, please share. Please share what you do. If you make anything that we do here, um, we've got a totally big totally beads handmade page where a lot of people um share their makes or you can always message me and you can always email me if you want though emails aren't working at the moment so maybe not um but i love to see what you do um so thank you for giving it a go margaret i hope you all have a really really lovely lovely weekend um whatever you're up to i hope the sun is shining um i hope the snow's not too bad wherever you're watching from and i'll see you on monday what am i doing on monday mm earrings oh i think i'm doing wire earrings with you on monday mm. as i say i'm doing that much i don't know when i'm doing what but um i'm looking forward to seeing you all back with me and hopefully on facebook too so have a lovely weekend everybody and i'll see you soon take care